The more talented the director, the easier they are to work with. Film is rhythm, and editing is a study of that rhythm. Is this a subjective experience? Is this strictly expositional? You learn the tool, and you use it to create the story. Skateboard chase was shot over a period of time. They were on the black back lot and they could continue to go back and revise and do things differently. So Bob would come in after we put things together. Uh, first of all, we, we shot the storyboards uh, and made little uh, pieces of film so that we could use them as kind of placeholders for each thing that we wanted to do. And then as each piece was shot, we would replace the storyboard within the sequence and Bob could see how things were progressing and what would work or what wouldn't work with certain things. And he would go back out the next day when they had some free time and they would set up the storyboard thing. And, and one of the things I remember is that when Marty would uh, come around the car or the truck and he said, boy, wouldn't it be neat if the skateboard sparked when it did that. So they went back and they reshot the, the skateboard hitting the, the ground and sparking. Those are the kind of things that we, you could go back and do. The, having the luxury of being on the lot Having the luxury of working with the director on a daily basis meant that things could be continually improved. Oftentimes if you're on location and you have one and a half days to do something in one place, you get it all and that's it. You don't get a second opportunity to go back. A lot of Back to the Future was shot on the back lot so they could always go back and do some additional shooting on, particularly on sequences like this that required so many cuts. At the end, uh, you're probably all familiar with how Biff runs into the, the manure truck and it dumps on him. Originally, Marty was supposed to get away by crossing on a skateboard in, cr in front of an oncoming train, and the train would cut off Biff's chase so that he would not be able to catch Marty. Uh, they felt like that was too dangerous, and it was also expensive to have this locomotive and stuff, and they were going to shoot on the back lot, so it was kind of difficult to get a train on the back lot of Universal Studios. <laughs> What we have in the digital age, what we had in the splicer age, in the chem age, in the movie old age, were tools, hammers and saws. And when you're an editor, you learn the tool and you use it to create the story. You're the storyteller. And I think that's the important thing to think. <laughs>